All right, the Noonan Petroleum starting gate is rolling. It is post time for the 10th, and let's send it back upstairs for the race call. Once again, here's Vance Cameron. Who's your winner? Rash behavior, the big bite. Likely to win, rising fella. Dividend day. It's the 10th on the gate, top of the stretch. Tenth race, approaching a start. Rough and pacing, the big bite likely to win towards the rail. That is rash behavior. Then from the outside, rising fella fourth. Fifth along the rail, who's your winner? Then the trailer, Dividend Day. They're over to the eighth pole and likely to win is headed to the front. In line to Adam Murner. The big bite will release him on the lead. Then in third on the back stretch for the first time is Rash Behavior. Away fourth, that's Rising Fella. Fifth is who's your winner and the trailer, that's Dividend Day. So they settle up with pylon positions. Moving past the quarter, led by likely to win. In line to Adam Murner, the old Opening quarter is up, 29 and 3. The big bite on the turn, second, racing from third. Rash behavior, rising fell at the cones, fourth. Who's your winners in fifth? Trailing the field, given end day. Positions unchanged as they come towards the half mile. Led by likely to win, he's halfway home. The big bite is second, rash behavior, third. Rising fell of fourth. On the move on the outside, fifth is who's your winner. Dividend Day continuing to trail. One minute and one fifth was the midway time by the five eight, and they straighten up the back stretch for time two. Led there by likely to win the big bike, getting the two hole ride. Rash behavior at the rail third. Who's your winner gets fourth on the outside. Rising fell at the rail fifth. Dividend Day on the outside the trailer. Three quarters in the books. Likely to win got him there in 130 and one. The big bite is off his back now. Coming second. Third at the rail. Rash behavior. Stalled fourth. Who's your winner? They're in the home stretch now. Likely to win on top. The big bite on the outside. Deep stretch now. Likely to win gets there. In line to Adam Murner. Second. That's the big bite. Rash behavior gets the show prize. Time for the mile. 159 and 2 All right, uh, here's a look at the stretch drive for you in race number 10 tonight, Peter. And as I said in the pre-race, every now and then it takes a little time to get your groove back, but likely to win. And Anna Murder, they got the groove back tonight. Yeah, I dropped down here tonight, Lee, and uh, we all know he was a better horse than what he was showing on his chart lines of late. He got to the front here tonight. He meant business right from the jump, 29 and 3. One minute, one, the big bite was sitting in the two-hole, watching it all unfold up front. Adam still comfortable, 130 and 1 to the three-quarters. Good rating by Adam tonight, 159 and 2. The Classy likely to win, gets it done here for Murner tonight. The big bite, we liked him for another top three. He was second, Rash Behavior third. 4-3-2 in the 10th at Red Shore Summerside. Here's tonight's 50-50 winning number, 326-864. It's valued at $505. 50-50 winning number, 326-864. And while we have a minute here, we'll uh, zoom in on the uh, Drive for Charity event uh, this week in uh, Summerside. Adam Murner teaming up with Andrew Stables of Dundas and, uh, and Milton PEI. They're raising money for Kidsport PEI as well and doing a nice job of it. There's another check in the bank for Adam Murner tonight in the Drive for Charity as he teams up with Andrew Stables in 2019. Likely to win, finding his way into the Woodmere Standard Bridge winner's circle. From tonight's 10th race, Bay Pacing Gelding 9 by Western Terror. From the Dream Away Dam, Light Dreams, 
Owned by Blenish Young, Lester and Jeffrey Campbell, trained by Melissa Rennie. Adam Murner picks up the winning drive. Time for the mile in one, fifty-nine and two. Likely to win. Wins at Summerside. 